Today I'm going to show you how to use the Schneider Electric Easy Selector Tool. We're going to select a safety switch today, so let's do that now. Before we get started, let's take a look at the left side of the screen. Here we have some handy information, like our useful links for frequently asked questions, our cross-reference tool, our Digest Plus, our catalogs, our brochures, and the NEMA type enclosures we have for our safety switches. We also have some helpful information to help get you started. This is especially handy if you're not quite familiar with the product line. We have a list of questions that will help you identify what the customer needs to help you make your selection. Once we've done that, let's go ahead and look at our product subset. We have general duty safety switches, heavy duty safety switches, and some double throw safety switches. Today we're going to select a heavy duty safety switch. Let's do that now. Before we get started again, let's go ahead and look at the left hand side. We show some pictures of our various switches as well as a list of some of our specialty switches. We also have our terms and definitions as well as a catalog number construction grid. This grid is handy if a customer comes to you with a part number that you're not quite sure what it is. This will help you identify that part number. Now we'll go ahead and go over to the fuse section and the non-fuse section that shows our configurations and contacts for the safety switches. Now that we're done with that, let's look at our features. Today let's select a heavy duty safety switch. We're going to select a fusible type. And now we're going to select a 600 volt type. You'll notice that when we select 600 volts, our limitations start to get smaller and smaller when we select 600 amps. Now we can only do two, three, or four poles instead of up to six poles. Let's select three pole. Now let's select a neutral. And now let's select NEMA 3R 5 or 12. You'll notice that we've been able to start our parts list. Here's the part number for the accessories and what we want to do is we do want to add a ground bar. So let's go ahead and do that now. Once you've done that, you can add that to your list. Now you can see a complete list of the items that you'll need to select.